Hey everybody, welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Let's Play. Here we and go. And we got a beefer. Yeah, this is a, a bit of a beefer today because we're doing everything in this place in today's part. This is the Wall Market in Sector 6. I like how they got, I love the signs here. Item, yo, south. south. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think it's yo, I think it's just character, Japanese characters. It is, it is. It is Japanese kanji, I yeah. like it yo. I, I like yo, it's yo back. What if it is kanji for yo? Item, yeah. it's kanji south, for yo. burger. burger. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> Um, look, I'm really looking forward to seeing this place get the bells and whistles. I am curious as how they're going to handle the wall market sequence. They're going to handle it right. I hope so. Like, don't touch anything from this place. Like, just don't. Oh, no, I really want Cloud to be... Lo I'm looking forward to, like, the wholesome revamp. Cloud gets surrounded by a whole bunch of male bodybuilders. Yeah, and not only and does Cloud really get the supportive. massage of his life, yes, the progressive yeah. bodybuilder the, memes. Yeah, basically. I, love that I'll, I'll, I still can't. I still can't wait to see uh, Cloud in a dress in HD. They haven't shown anything from that I'm, yet. That's a missed opportunity, by the way. You brought that up, Elliot. Or I'm hoping like how they patched to put it in for the city for DLC later on. Cloud in a dress <laughs> outfit. <laughs> they also got Mark Hamill to him. What was his name? Uh, Don Don Don, Don Corneo. Corneo. Yeah. yeah, they got Mark Hamill for that. Yeah, and it's fucking weird. <laughs> Corneo. Lo I mean, Corneo. Hamill loves voicing villains. Which is why he took on the role for Ozai in uh, Avatar. So I'm kind of hoping to see what he does for Corneo. I mean, yeah. we kind of got a you kind of got a small taste of, of what it was during that trailer during E3. Yeah, it was very a, bit though. Yeah, I know, but I want I, I can't settle for a bit. Is the U7 remake out now? No, it's not. Fuck. <laughs> By the way, who has a machine? I like that this place is an item shop with a turret gun for a fucking self defense for security. <laughs> Don't step the bill. By the by, in there is your uh, Tifa's ultimate weapon, the premium heart. Yeah. Which I kind of like the little nice retcon to touch design they gave it in um, Dissidia 012. The premium heart will actually have the Kingdom Hearts insignia on it. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> I thought it was a nice touch. It was like the golden heart, basically? Uh, uh, the white heart, yeah. The white heart, yeah, okay. There is a weapon in Final Fantasy XIV, which kind of, it kind of goes like a, a, the the name is kind of like a, of an inverse, but it's called Heartless. Mm -hmm. uh, it's for the Black Mage, but the 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 symbol on top of it is the the Heartless emblem. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV, if Final Fantasy XIV does the same thing twelve does, is like there's a whole bunch of callbacks and shit to other Final Fantasies, and you're just there eating it up. And I'm like, yeah, yes, basically. give me Wait, the cat. I'm sorry, did he, I'm sorry. Did that dude with the spiky hair call Aerith a heifer? <laughs> Uh, Heifer, I think it was. Cause I thought it was Heifer. I thought it was because it was spelled usually H E F F R. Ah, yes, in the world of Final Fantasy Hold 7, on. I want the Korean barbecue flavor. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> there's a Korea in this world. <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah, they call, yeah, it's called Wu Tai. Yeah. <laughs> well, the why would it call the Wu Tai? No, 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 the way, no, this is actually how it's spelled Heifer. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. I always thought it was H E F F E R. Yeah, like the uh, steer. Yeah. Steer. Yeah. <laughs> steer. Anyway, so we're doing something a little early today. We're going to enjoy some good eats in this restaurant to get a pharmacy coupon. I'll be complimentary. Why not? Oh, I hope so. I mean, you don't want to... Unless you really get to serve dog food, in which case you might want to have it better dog really food. Matter. We're going to get the pharmacy coupon anyway. I wonder what kind of dog food Kuhau would compare it to. Like, what if it wasn't an insult? Like, what if he actually had dog food as authentic cuisine? So, like, what is he comparing it to? Mm, that would be t not that entirely would be sure. Sad. Also, there's a Korea in this world. <laughs> <laughs> it, was probably, it was probably here before you know Wu Tai blew up. Yeah, kind of like how they gave Ketchy a Scottish accent in a world with no Scotland. Yeah, <laughs> we're closed now. Oh fuck you, no, too, buddy. Not. This is actually the Materia shop. Uh, we can't. We won't be able to buy Materia until our second visit. But the second and it's visit the same is the same you always far. have before. Yeah, basically. In case you didn't have it already. Welcome to this place. Is equivalent of Foreman Mills. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh the reason why we're in the wall market at all is well because we saw tifa in that chocobo carriage and we're wondering well, what is she doing is like why does she look so weird and where's her face where is she heading off to she so, wants to ride that chocobo so we're following oh god uh sorry <laughs> not like that johnny no 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 uh but uh so we, we need to figure out what's going on here so we got to so one of the first areas that we visited was the honeybee inn uh was pretty much a burlesque joint and uh, we, uh, the the manager or the owner of the place, told us like, oh yeah, well, Tifa's actually one of our new uh, one of our new girls, but she's getting interviewed right now. And you, and first, and your first thought is, wait, my friend Tifa's working at a brothel. <laughs> I, I didn't know. Uh, no, but the reason why she's doing that because she's trying to gain the favor or at least the attention of Don Corneo, who kind of runs things in this area. Yeah, the Mafia Don. Yeah, pretty much. Is he a Mafia you know, Don? I always took him as just a giant fucking leech. He's a leech, but you'd imagine Don Corneo would imply would imply um maybe it's, no maybe it's his first name. I can't uh, yeah. remember President Shinro. His real name in Japanese is President. <laughs> Did you just find the Mithril Rod? 
Uh, I bought the Mithril Royal, yeah, because I'm kind of an idiot at this point. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, because again, we're not Honestly, too... Honestly, I'll probably do the same thing. We're not too far off from getting something, a really good weapon for Aerith in the train graveyard, which is the Striking Staff. That's... Yeah. You have to steal that, but it's also, like, way better than anything you have at that point. It's going to be way better until she gets the uh, Wizard Staff in... Uh... Uh, Corral. Was it a? Oh, I was going to say a Junin, but uh, there's another staff you can get in Junin. I I believe so. There, well, there are shops that you can visit. Yeah, in but Junin, there's none really. They're, they're kind of all the way. They're kind of out of the way too. Yeah, there's also really nothing new. Ah, oh, somebody's having the shits or the barfs. Who knows? The, I think it's the barfs. Because I think she's like kneeling in front of the yeah. toilet, so maybe she had a little too much to drink. Yeah, it could be the case for that. You're right. Yeah. This is Don Corneria's uh, HQ, but uh, no men allowed. Yeah. I remember one day, I remember, I think it was me when I was playing with my dad. I brought it, I accidentally pronounced it as Don Cornholio, <laughs> and then afterwards it never left for like the longest time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have to find a way to get in there, but with there being a strict no man policy, we come up with the only reasonable answer, and I admit, I laughed my head off stupid when we had to do this. Protest because it's sexist. <laughs> yeah, it would be sexist normally, but Corn Corneo still doesn't care. Much like the real world, you can be, you can make all the claims you want, but they, they're going to fucking uphold it anyway because they're assholes. So now we've got to find a way to get Cloud in there. Yeah, Oops, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, an error just got a hilarious idea. To just Cloud up as a woman. Yeah, we're going to just Cloud up as a woman. And but, uh, what makes it really sell, which I'm looking forward to in the HD remake, he pulls it off. Yeah, he yeah. does pull it off. It's very by. It helps that Cloud had already, by default, already had a, a pretty by Shonen design. Not to the extent of like like pure by Shonen anime protagonists. Yeah. You know, he does have a sturdier frame to him like, as compared to like it's the Slender build. It's not overly be Shonen, but be Shonen enough. Enough, yes. Very. It's, it's that fair standard balance. Standard male Shonen protagonist, basically. Because uh, in the, Final Fantasy VII, I believe, was the first where Tetsu Nomura was in charge of character character designs, not just monster designs, because he was a monster designer beforehand. Right. And this is the first time I believe he was in charge of character designs, and it shows, because, like, the designs of every character in this game, comparatively speaking to his other works, very anime-esque. Oh, believe it or not, he can actually get down to Earth when he tries. Yeah. He, if, you know Aya Brea from Parasite Eve? Yeah. He all, all her outfit was, was was a clean pair of jeans, a nice pair of boots, a green jacket, and a black t-shirt. That was black. More, what was her her jacket. I, uh, I think I might yeah, I might be wrong on the jacket part myself, but um, uh, either way, I'm pretty sure it was black. Very down to earth is what Matt's talking about, right? Yes. And that was a Nomura design. Yeah. So then I look at that, then I look at something like his designs for um, what was the craziest ones he ever Final had? Final Fantasy Ten. I don't think he did ten. Ten wasn't designs. crazy though. In fact, I love his designs in 10. Have you seen Lulu with all the belts? <laughs> not so much. Not, not the point, though. Uh, I know. The, the I point know. is more like his choice of line work, his colors. Right. That sort of thing. I love his 10 characters. But also really with good. Nomura, you can tell clearly when he's going through phases. Yes. Eight was made <laughs> Eight was made when he was having a massive silver phase. Yeah. And Kingdom Hearts 3 was the plaid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like the joke. Er, the joke everybody makes is belts and zippers. Like the man could not for a while stop belts and zips and belts and zips and belts and zips and belts and zips. <laughs> which is, you know, which on paper seems cool until you realize, hey, I gotta take a piss. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I think one of the one of the best jokes that you ever told in this channel. I think it was years ago. I'm not Kingdom sure. If it was, was it Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts 2. It was like, <laughs> zip, zip, zip. yeah, basically that one. <laughs> Number of design pants. If it wasn't, <laughs> if it, if Sora didn't have a keyblade, it'd be two giant fingers to zip the keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. this world's fly is down. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Speaking of uh, Kingdom Hearts, that remind's coming out this week. Is it? Yeah, yes. it is. Oh, no, ten days. I ten didn't days. know. Like, I saw this one picture that someone like screen capped um, the, the 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 countdown for a uh, remind, and the one the next image that was with it, it's Will Smith as genie in the Aladdin, but instead it's the heartless that Ansem has. Oh wow! <laughs> I saw that. I'm like, holy shit! That's funny and it's cool, but what the fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so the quest to uh, dress Cloud up in a dress is is actually consumes of a uh, is the bare of a lot of items. There, you don't have to get everything in this quest. The bare minimum is the dress and the wig. And that's pretty much all you need for Cloud to pass off as a girl in this world, right? Uh, which is fine. However, there is a bit of a uh, there's a bit of a contest for this one because uh, Cornerio's uh, choice at the end of the day is all determined by whatever girl he has the most value, or basically whatever girl he has they finds the most attractive. And you can make that person Cloud, but in order to do that, if you want it to be guaranteed, you have to go for the extra items. So that's the tiara, there's the lingerie, and there's the uh, the bikini brief. So I think it's just another the makeup the lingerie, and there's also the makeup. The makeup you might miss because the makeup I often forgot about, like earlier in my playthroughs. Uh, and I, I think that's it. No, there's also cologne. Uh, there's also the sexy cologne uh, from the girl right. that gets you from, from the bathroom. Uh, those items, they're not mandatory, but they pretty much make Cloud a, a, the go-to pick for Cornerio if you want like the extra dialogue and the hyper behind his bed. <laughs> the guy said he's a man of his word. I can't tell if that's... Maybe it's a non-gender. I don't know. Yeah, so we need to... Blamo! Uh, yeah. Shit! So uh, the, the second oh. mandatory item is the wig, and we have to beat Big Bro here in a game of squats. This game introduced me to squats. And by the way, you just turned his uh, his leotard into a two-piece bikini? Yeah, it looks like it is. It's like his torso is clipping out through his crotch. <laughs> you know? This game, I think, was the in was the game that introduced me to squats as an exercise routine. Yeah, right. Same. Yeah, and but, I still well, can't do it right. Cloud, no, neither can I. I mean, Cloud needs that ass so that he could, so that he could sell more. You know. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, look at him now. He's got no ass. In I fact, said, he's got leg and then top of leg. So now we have the we have the item necessary to get inside. Oops. Not going to do anything <laughs> right now. But now we're going to go after the optional items. So the first up to bat, I believe, uh, this is for the tiara, and. So well, he just wants to find out what his uh, what his um, opponents here are selling in the uh, machines. Yeah, because he's banned from the inn. He can't like, he can't go into the inn. So he asks Cloud, "Can you go into the inn and see what they're selling in their vending machines?" Coincidentally, he asked for privacy, and Aerith didn't put her hands up to her ears, so Aerith overheard everything. Yeah, does it really matter? I don't understand why he has Aerith like cover their ears. It's like it's a man to man conversation. We, what to go inside an inn and see what they're selling? How the hell is that a man to man conversation? <laughs> Depends on what you're going to find in there. I guess. But anyway, uh, so you have options on the vending machine. If you want the best points, you got to buy the most expensive one, which is the 200 gil one. Right. And that is for the diamond tiara, I want to say. And the other options, I think one is like a... One's a different kind of tiara and the other thing the other one really is really yeah, stupid. Yeah, uh, yeah because I, I never go for the cheaper options. I always get the most expensive right. one. You know, because there are there are multiple items in different tiers that give you different point values for Canero's decision. One that doesn't work actually, that's actually a waste of time, I think, is the lingerie. Uh the under the mm, underwear. No, you're gonna want that. No no no, it's bugged. It doesn't work. Oh. Yeah. Really? Uh, actually it like it doesn't work. I'm not sure if that was uh fixed in like later re releases. I but wouldn't believe it was. In the uh in the American release and the Japanese release, that item is bugged and actually does not do anything for point values. So you don't have to get it, but you know, it's like side quest completion. You gotta do it anyway. So uh, you get the three choices of uh, mezzanine with the pharmacy coupon. You want digestive because that is what the girl in the bathroom is gonna want. Or you can get the, or you can give her disinfectant. Just keep, yeah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, like oh, it's all over the place. <laughs> so Here, so or, or you can give her the deodorant. You smell. <laughs> so, so you're giving her Pepto? Yeah. Yeah, in a way we are. Uh, so we're gonna. So this person the there, so that person time. there can give can give her the shit. Yeah. Let's give her her medicine, and she gets instantly better. It's fast working. And, and now we got the sexy, the sexy clone. Cologne. It's like coat farts. <laughs> ah, the Axe the brand Axe I never got. Coat fart. So uh, you, you can smell like you shat in your coat. You ever wanted to smell like a walking Dutch oven? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a walking Dutch oh, oven? Yeah. <laughs> that you, we have the you ever just of... ripped one, and then you want everyone to notice, but you <laughs> want it to go longer? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so you talk the, to the dude right the man outside the, the honeybee. For the man in the back middle of, in the back seat, middle of the car, who's laughing his ass off while his friends are <laughs> hanging their heads out the car for dear life. <laughs> anyway, so we talk to the man right outside the honeybee, What's and, this dude and doing? he will give you. He's a lech. He's a pervert. He's also really shy. Uh, you talk to the dude outside Honeybee, and he will give you the membership card, and this is how you get inside this place. I can't wait for this in HD. I am. Dying. Dying to see how they handle the honeybee in this place. So there are two rooms to the left here that you can occupy because there's no one in them. There's the group room, and then there's the... 
fart room because yeah. it's a lot of characters. I don't know what it's supposed to signify. Maybe it's the fuck room. I'm not sure. I think it's a it is a it's a fuck room, right? Is in your mind gets yeah, your fucked. mind gets fucked. I never take that room uh, because it's kind of like what the hell is going on here? But there are two rooms on the right that you can't go into because they're occupied. But you can take a peek through the keyhole, and we're gonna go for this one right here because what the shit. <laughs> So this is something I did not understand what was happening when I got here like the first few times as a kid. And then you realize, getting older, this is this is President Shinra yes. fucking role-playing as a king. Also, you have a lot of... Also, you have amazing-ass peripheral vision yeah, in the you goddamn do. keyhole. Also, I know, because it's, it's like, like the, the keyhole, keyhole moves moves moving with you, with you. yeah. So this is President Shinra role-playing as a king, spouting out this prophecy that's actually, you know, it does foretell certain things that are happening. It's like talking about Sephiroth, the promised land. But it's also like, why? And he has Shinra employees dressed up as like a knight and like other subjects. I and thought it was absolutely bizarre. And then I learned that of filial piety, impunity, and that the rich can do whatever the fuck they want, abuse of power and all with the money, and nobody's yeah. going to do a thing to stop it. So, hey, this actually can be plausible. My favorite thing eat, about this, though, is the that the, my, my favorite thing about this, though, is the Shinra employees like, like what are we doing? <laughs> it's like, like, why are we doing this? If... Oh, God. Did he just thrust his dick in that person? No, nah, he's removing the ancient curse. So he's uh. spanking that ass. Oh, yeah. Cloud, what do you think? Blog. <laughs> um, he downs the sexy cologne as a drink. Yeah, um, can I die? I think this is the lover's room? Yeah. I guess we got the two elderly couple here. They got this house. They got this room thanks to their, I think there was their kid or something like that. They rented the place yeah. out for them. It's just a conversation. It's pretty miscellaneous. But if you take a peek over at the very right of this place, you get a sneak peek of a character we're not going to you know, run into until midway through disc one. That's Ketchy. You see a bouncer oh. there. Huh. It's like a little miniature Ketchy. Do you think there. it's Reeves' parents? Maybe. Maybe it's, you know, I never thought about that. What if it is? Hmm. I thought it was Kate Sith. I know I said, no, it's actually Ketchy. It's Kate it's Sith, Kit. but it's pronounced Ketchy. Ketchy. It's uh, Gaelic, I believe. Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah. You know how I first learned that? Uh, we were talking about the Final Fantasy VII guides and all that sort of thing. Not the Brady Games one, but the unofficial guide. Uh, the one that had like uh, all the references, like the, the Japanese playthrough and all that sort of thing. Uh, there's uh, a reference sheet at the end of that with all the characters. And... For uh, Kate Seth, that's what I thought it used to be pronounced, gets the actual pronunciation of the name right next to it, and it's Ket She. Huh. That's what I first learned about it. And it's also like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's not how it's spelled at all. It's spelled Kate Seth. Ket She. You know, I Notice... can't wait to read this book. You know, it's not pronounced book. What's it called? Uh, roll? Yeah. <laughs> also, these girls are completely topless. Are they topless? If, if, if Unless that's, I think that's supposed to be skin and uniform. Un unless, unless like it, <clears throat> it wraps around the front but doesn't go to the back. No, I always took it. No, I think they're wearing a top on the, a, a piece on the front because we Maybe? talked to this, we talked to this girl here because uh, I'm, I'm jumping the gun here a little earlier. I should be doing the group room thing first uh, because I'm trying to get the makeup on here first. Although there is a bit of extra dialogue I didn't know about until this playthrough. You just keep talking to her and she keeps thinking that you're a pervert that won't leave her alone. Uh -huh. And Cloud will actually say like, you know, I'm a jack of all trades. Maybe you've heard about me, but I'm kind of a big deal. Name's Zach. <laughs> Zach Fair got yeah. shot a bunch of times but came back to life. What yeah. up? <laughs> yeah, you see, look, they, they are wearing like a. Yeah, a I see piece. what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. And she, I think she just tried to sting us. Huh. I, you, know, you know, it's just the costume. It can't really hurt me. Given that there are. Also, is your hip okay? Because I seem to be dislocated <laughs> in different sections. Also, I like to imagine I consider there are human shaped monsters in this game. What if yeah. they are actually just bee people? Yeah, <laughs> what are they? What are so, they wait, why does she keep people? saying poo? I have no idea. Maybe it was like, ah, shit. It's like, oh, what do you want? You know, it's like, what room do you want to go into? Okay, so now we're actually going to pursue what we want to do here, because we are here for two optional items for the dress mini game, and that is the makeup and the bikini briefs. Right. Because uh, I believe if you go to the top left room, the the mind fuck room, you don't get anything, do you? No, yeah, I think you do. Do you do? Do you get something? Anyway. I, I well, believe you get plot exposition. It's something like that. See, it's the room that we're avoiding. It's so weird. It kind of catches you off guard because it's like, what happened? You go inside that room, and Cloud runs into like a manifestation of himself with his Buster Sword out and ready, and he gets like assaulted by it. Like he gets attacked by it. 
<laughs> and it's like, it's out of nowhere. It's like, why is this happening in the burlesque joint of all places? And then that's it. Like, Cloud, like, blacks out, and then he comes to, and then he leaves. hi -oh. But then there's the other My personal room. favorite bit here from yeah. Cloud. Looks like I'm going to be facing crisis hey, all my life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, me, lady. It's not my birthday. <laughs> oh, man. What should I do? This could be dangerous. Yeah, so this is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. So this is uh, this is a very... It's like... I don't I don't know how to explain this part. But we're yeah, doing this... It's pretty much like a group body wash. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much... Uh, we're, we're pretty much doing this to get the bikini, the bikini briefs. And this room is being shared with a lot of bur burly men that want to take a bath together. To get all I like to imagine the remake's actually going to play this shit like cleanly straight. Like... Cloud's having a great massage. He's like, so you guys really think I should be more honest with Tifa about things? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> Bubby. Absolutely, brother. <laughs> oh, totally, King. You got to understand that a woman's mind reminds me of a Right on, my fellow kings. But now I'd like to also further administrate that the Corneo is actually not going to be... It's actually going to be a very dangerous Don altogether. Right on, brothers. <laughs> hey, um, I would love it if they had it that way. Hey, um, <laughs> any, of you, any of you guys got a crossword puzzle? Oh, I got one here, buddy. <laughs> you want to join my young Bubby's group? Oh, I didn't say no. <laughs> I would like uh, one of the dudes recommend the cloud that he say that you should count down to ten if you're feeling anxious. Mm -hmm. At one point, he deliberately jumps to twenty-one. Wow. <laughs> it's like, what happened? Not your age, but. <laughs> All right, that's ten. I'm getting out. All right. I want to just go around and play a bit. I said the safe word! <laughs> Daddy's so lonely. Okay, I'm just gonna get out. Hey, uh, you, you babe with your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna get all wet and wet the floor, buddy! Here we go. Bikini Bruce. <laughs> yeah, they're really tidy. <laughs> God forbid you actually got the worst item would be the tidy whiteies. Which you know, would actually really ruin the fucking sex appeal on I that. just noticed something, though. Because remember, um... Every item in this game has a point value to win Don Quinera's affection. Mm -hmm. And I just mentioned how the underwear is actually, it doesn't work. It's bugged. It doesn't give you point values. Maybe there's a, maybe like the in-game justification for that is that you're wearing a long dress anyway. You're not going to see it. Why would you see the briefs? <laughs> Don's going to want to know what the briefs are. <laughs> Unless. Or maybe your cloud wears the briefs on the outside. Then again, <laughs> I the cloud's going to shave his legs. Yeah. Unless it's slightly see-through. Maybe. It, what, oh, like a see-through dress. You do yeah. have a silk dress. There's a silk dress and there's a shiny dress. No, uh, cotton. Was it a cotton dress. Yeah, there are different dresses. Uh, another uh, quick thing before we uh, leave the honey bee in specifically. So the makeup you can get from the girl. There are actually different values for that too. There are three different makeups that you can get from that girl and it's random on which one you get. You know which one she you fleeced. get by the sound effect that plays after she's done patting your face. Right. There are three distinctive sounds. The one with the most point value, I want to say, it sounds like a, 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 like, a, like a flow of wind blowing for a second. That's five points altogether. The other one is three points, and the other one is one. It is random which one you get, though. So we're right. just like, hopefully you But if you you're doing the everything else, the makeup should be a move point. The makeup should be a move point, correct. But there are different makeups that are given to you. Which gives me now the image that when you get one point heat, Cloud just goes in with clown makeup. Yeah. <laughs> we just get a mini rendition of a circus theme. <laughs> that he sings himself. <laughs> <laughs> he cries a little bit during it. <laughs> like, the face looks like he's smiling, but then you wipe the mouth, he's just frowning he's all the time. Absolutely. No, he's actually just angry. Furious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Johnny's face on the uh, SHC play th thumbnail. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I love that. By the way, that was one of my favorite <laughs> faces I've ever seen. Uh, now they're fighting over Air stress because Air decides to get into the swing of things. Yeah, she's got a. She's, she's, she's got to be part of she's it. She's got a pretty. She's got to whore it up, basically. Because let's be real here. That's what. That's Don what Don wants. Interesting. He, that's he, he wants whores. Yeah, jerk off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, like that's what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, it's basically. Yeah, he guess he's tired of what I guess he's tired of the one handed um bishop beatings. <laughs> one handed bishop. I gotta say though, in the trailer that we got to see Aerith in the red dress. That dress is fucking stunning. Yeah. Holy My shit. My favorite NPC though here is on the right, the good the person in the green dress. You're weird. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> hey, I tell you I'll tell you what, bitch, about twenty years from now you're gonna be looked at as very you're gonna be looked at on the wrong side of history. <laughs> <laughs> I think the favorite part of the dress is not so much of the wig, but the red bow in the back. That's a yeah. ginormous red it bow. It's like a, it looks like it's supposed to be like what, like a kimono kind of thing. I think that's what it's supposed to be. 
Yeah, but here's a little fun little Easter egg. If you're in the dress, you go back to the honeybee and they can't get enough of you. And Johnny is like, I don't know, I think he's furiously masturbating right there. Johnny hands... John, oh, Johnny, no. <laughs> Looks kind of familiar. Young girl, soft skin. Ooh, I'm refreshed now. Pretty hard. You work you out? You work out? Yes, I do. Also, stop so touching. He just put, puts his hand on his shoulder. Ready to give me a little bit. Is that a... That's uh, are, are, I'm kind of uncomfortable. A little bit I like more. to imagine that Cloud's got the sword on the back tucked in between the bow. Yeah, I know. It's like that's what they're feeling. Like, yeah, um, you okay? And I'm spent. It's got two materials for tits. <laughs> <laughs> materials, tits. Materials, tits, yeah. <laughs> anyway. What's that, that big-ass umbrella behind you for? We'll catch you guys next time with the results of our little Walmart side quest. Next time on Final Fantasy VII. I keep thinking you're trying to say Walmart. No.